Okay, so to bind a DXXI to the JJ Pro T1, you plug the T1's battery in, wait about 10 seconds for the light to start blinking a little faster, then you hold the trainer switch up while turning on the uh, transmitter and that puts it into bind mode. They will bind to each other. The next step is going to go into the receiver tab in clean flight. You're going to want to check and make sure that all your channels are mapped properly, so when you press up and down on the throttle that the throttle moves up and down and when you press left and right on the yaw the yaw moves left and right and same with the roll and the pitch now whenever I first bound these were all on the wrong channels so you might actually have to go into the command line interface and remap the channels and it's really simple to do um, basically you're just going to type map AETR1234 that's um, aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder, one, two, three, four. So that's how I map the channel out. You may have to go into your DX6i and reverse one or two of the channels. And the very last step is going to be arming the aircraft. For me to be able to get this to arm, the uh, instructions here, which are not the clearest instructions in the world, say that it uses the traditional arm disarm which is disarm like that and arm like that that did not work and I set the arm to be auxiliary one which is the gear switch right here and for it to work whenever I would flip the switch the uh, arm would stay gray there it wouldn't turn green this actually has to turn green even though it goes into the proper range this was still not turning green and to get this to turn green you have to go into your Spectrum DX6i go up into the menu go into travel adjustment set your throttle to hundred and twenty five percent and then flip the switch up and go to the gear section and set it to around eighty four percent that way it will actually turn green when it arms and the reason is, when you go into the receiver tab, and I go to the minimum throttle, you'll see it's 1070. And I go to the maximum throttle, it's 1870. When you go into the modes tab, uh, these two have to fall into that range right there. And if you flip this button, and this little green dot is above that range, you need to use the travel adjustment to be able to bring that green line back into the range. So now this aircraft will actually arm and we can take it out for a little test flight.